Now to one dad's dramatic transformation after he took control of his health, lost 100 pounds in just six months without medication. Mm -hmm. He is sharing his tips for others. And Andrew Dimbert is here with that story for us. Good morning there, Andrew. Good morning, Robin. So many people are turning to popular weight loss drugs to slim down, but they can often be expensive and even hard to get. So this dad did it the old fashioned way. It wasn't the 15 pounds he gained during lockdown or the medications he was taking for high blood pressure and gastric reflux. Jamie Wooldridge's motivation to lose weight was this photo taken by his wife one day in church. I may or may not have fallen asleep, but anyway, the photo was not flattering at all. And and it was like, OK, I need to do something about this. Within six months, the 285 pound retiree from South Lake, Texas, had lost 100 pounds. Now he's helping others learn from his journey, starting with calorie counting. I was really shocked to see that I was probably consuming four to five thousand calories a day. It was it was humbling for his age and activity level jamie should have been getting 3300 calories a day so he joined an app for counting calories and cut to 2200 calories a day for weight loss while the pounds came off he never deprived himself of his favorite foods if i'm gonna have pizza well i'm just gonna budget that into my my calorie allotment for the day he was already walking miles every day at some point he started running too sharing his journey on TikTok. did my 5k and i'm gonna finish it up with about a seven mile walk this type of dramatic weight loss is likely not possible for most people. Dr. Veronica Johnson, who is not Jamie's physician, says anyone making significant changes to their diet should talk with a doctor. I think taking a, a step back and, and looking at your overall health and when you have these things in a better place, your overall health is improved. He recognized that he was struggling with his weight, but he also recognized that his cholesterol was elevated, his blood pressure was elevated, he was on the verge of having diabetes. And so he felt that losing weight would improve all of those markers. For healthier eating, Jamie decreased his processed sugar intake, used substitutions like low-fat mayo to reduce calories, and used an air fryer to cut the fat out of his favorite recipes, like french fries. His big tip for newbies, plan accordingly for life's events. Every month there's going to be something. There's so many tools out there that can help you be successful. If I can do it, you can do it. So how to stick with it, Jamie says, make your resolution your routine. And he says it's not as hard as it sounds, but anybody who chooses to change their diet or eager to lose weight should talk to their provider and determine the best course of action for them. I like that. Make your resolution your routine. But Andrew, we also know portion control, a big part of any weight loss journey. And you have an example of what Jamie used to eat and what he eats now. That's right. Jamie's like all of us who doesn't love a good burger and fries, but to make it healthier with less calories, he made the portions smaller. Also, instead of going for fast food burgers and fries, make them at home. Turkey burger, maybe with a lettuce wrap and those fries again using that air fryer. If you want to figure out what your calorie intake should be to maintain your weight or to lose it, check out myplate.gov. Overall, it's really about committing to a lifestyle of healthy eating, physical activity, and stress management. For me, though, diet starts tomorrow, Robin. Oh, always tomorrow. Always tomorrow. I can always count on you, Andrew. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.